Hey, good day. This is Rich. And yes, I got something going on here because I think they're closing in on me and I have to change my looks. So don't tell anyone you saw me. So, we're in the thick of summer. It's hot. And it's a time of reflection. And so, are you a people watcher? I know you are. Because I am too. Yeah, I know. You don't like to admit it. It's kind of creepy. It's stalky. But have you ever just gone to the mall and just sat and just watched people going by? Or you know when you pull up to the light, you got to look next to you and see who's in that car. We just like looking and um, just enjoying sights and sounds and people. And, and I got to thinking that, you know, the COA... The Council on Aging, for those who don't know initials, is like a big airport. It really is. Where we've got people coming and going and all different walks of life and big and tall and here and there and just everywhere. And, and, it, and I got to thinking the other day that, you know, like an airport... You know, we have arrivals and departures every day. We have new seniors coming in. We have seniors who pass. We have staff coming, staff leaving. And, you know, depending on the arrival or the departure, sometimes it's emotional. Um, you know, we cry, we're sad, and we're going to miss them. And Or we're crying and we're sad because they're here. And we don't want, no, and we want them here. So... It is. It's very much just like a big old airport here. And this office right here, we're like the control tower. Looking out, looking who's coming, uh, making sure everyone arrives safely and making sure everyone departs safely. Now, there may be some that depart maybe with our foot out the door, but no, we're always, you know, it's coming and going. It's a very fluid environment just like an airport and then then I was thinking about you know like a baggage carousel you know that just goes round and round and everybody's waiting for their bag to come off and the anticipation and and it's kind of like here you don't know what's coming you know you're waiting for your program or your friend and so it's kind of a very cool atmosphere of doing so much and so you know i wanted to talk a little bit about today about you know the importance you know airports get us from point a to point b and and it's that journey that gets us there and sometimes it's bumpy and sometimes it's smooth but a lot of times when our passengers arrive here um it's a ride for them it's a ride. People are coming from wherever they live or um, to come here for an event and then they go home. But it's that time when we travel that we're going to be with loved ones or friends or family or business or whatever. It's a time. It's a temporary time. And so we're all temporary. Staff our seniors, our visitors, we're all temporary. People come, people go. Yeah, sure, it's sad. And, and it's, you know, we become very attached. And uh, I, if I had to pick one vivid memory in my entire life, and I am old. No, not as old as you, but I can remember, you know, we used to go to um, Norfolk, Virginia Beach area every year to see my grandparents. They were my mom's mom and dad and we lived up in Ohio so um, some summers we would stay down there as kids and hang out with grandma and grandpa and uh, and I remember one year leaving them and and every year we leave and yeah it was always sad but one of the last times that maybe my grandma knew um, when we were driving and, you know, we were looking out the back window like little kids, you know, waving. And my, my grandma was crying. And, and that is so vivid for me to remember that. And, 
that incident. And as I age, you know, when people leave, you don't know if you'll ever see them again or uh, when you're going to be with them again. And so for some of our seniors, you know, that's why it's so important to us that their time here is joy filled, joy full. We want it to be a great experience for them because we don't know if we're going to see me or you tomorrow. We don't know about tomorrow. So again, like an airport, we want to be the COA Airlines. Yeah, COA Airlines. Can you see that? Like on the tail fin, a big blue COA. And we're transporting people back and forth. And we want that experience to be good. Like, here's your peanuts. And here's, well, I don't even know if they do that anymore. But I think the last one I was on, we didn't get nothing. But, but the point being is we want that journey, that flight here at the COA, this is your captain speaking, Rich, um, to be a great time. And and that carousel, when, when it's time to take your baggage, your luggage off that carousel and you depart and go home, um, yeah, that was a fun trip. I can't wait to go back next year or, or tomorrow or whatever the case is. And so every day I sit here in the control tower and just watch people. And, and we had a story today in the uh, the newspaper about the expansion of our building. And, and I think really part of the joy is watching people be excited about that and seeing their faces and how excited they get it. I get more excited about them. And, and think about, you know, if you were a parent or, or anyone in particular, Christmas time, you know, when maybe you got somebody a gift or you were giving a gift to a child and you were you watch them unwrap it because you want to see the expression on their face or you know you, you get your friend a simple card and you just want to see their expression when they read their card that is joyful to me and sometimes my wife and I always I always say she'll say what do you want to do I said whatever you want to do because that brings me joy when you're happy and well you got to be happy too I said but I am happy by you being happy and and and, and it just you know, even when you're in the airport and, and you're walking down the uh, gang plane or, you know, walking down the terminal and you see people with signs and balloons and, and husbands and wives embracing because they've been apart and the kids, you know, mommy, daddy, and, and, and that celebratory moment of an arrival and everyone's just so excited. And, and I used to travel a lot and fly a lot and I would see a lot of those and, and that brought me joy that that couple or that family was so happy and or likewise uh, departing when you know the little kids are at the window waving goodbye to their parent or whoever's flying and they're crying and all that kind of stuff and um, yeah good times but we are a big airport of life just watching people coming and going taking off uh, departing sometimes to the place we all ultimately hope we get to, that place in the sky. Um, but life is very much just like an airport. And, uh, you know, hopefully your carousel isn't one that goes round and round because I'd be dizzy. Um, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And we all have our baggage and, and we can take our, our baggage, our memories home, unpack them, and then pack them back up again and, and go on to our next adventure. So I hope that when you come here, you'll stop in and see the captain and I'll give you little wings. No, nah, I won't give you wings. I, I could, I could put like a little, a black marker, a pair of wings on you. Um, but come on in and, and see us. Uh, come sit in the lobby and watch people walk in and out. It is kind of funny sometimes. Um, you know, particularly with the heat and they're coming in <sighs> all exhausted and, uh, but you know, we, uh, we'd love to have you come on on board, check us out this weekend, unpack some of your memories, or pack them up and bring them down here and share them with us. So this has just been Rich, Plain Rich, R-I-C-H, because I was born rich, live rich, and I'm going to die rich. So have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And peace.